Before assembly, the seal must be closely inspected for the following defects. No damage on the circumference of the sealing lip or the outer diameter. If the seal needs a pre-tensioning element, check that the element has no flash or damage. Never reinstall a used seal or a pre-tensioning element because there may be defects or geometrical changes you can't see. This will result in a loss of pretension or cause the seal to fail. Beyond the seal itself, the grooves must be carefully examined. The bottom, walls and edges of the grooves must be free of damage, such as burrs and nicks. The surfaces and dimensions of the grooves and the rod should be finished according to Trelleborg Seeding Solution specifications. See surface specifications in the app and groove dimensions in the Hydraulic Seals Linear Catalog or on the Trelleborg Sealing Solutions homepage. Assembly tools must not have any sharp edges and should be routinely inspected to make sure they have no burrs or scratches. The recommended material for installation tools is polyamide or polyoxymethylene. For further information and support, please contact your local Trelleborg Seeding Solutions marketing company. The installation of rod seals on a clean support plate is recommended. If the seal needs a pre-tensioning element, install the element into the groove. Avoid twisting the O-ring. Place the installation cone into the bore so that the edge of the tool ends exactly at the groove flank and all grooves above it are covered. Insert the zircon rod seal into the assembly cone. Position the pusher tool above the seal. Push the seal slowly through the assembly cone until the pusher is at the stop point. The zircon rod seal will snap into the groove. It will return to its original shape and be firmly seated. If the mounting force is too high for a manual operation, support with a machine, for example a press or a drilling machine, is recommended. If no assembly tools are available, the following installation method is recommended. If the seal needs a pre-tensioning element, install the element into the groove. Avoid twisting the O-ring. Form the zircon rod seal carefully into a kidney shape by hand. Insert the zircon rod seal in the correct orientation into the closed groove. Reform the seal with the finger in the direction of the groove. It will return to its original shape and be firmly seated. Alternatively, soft polyurethane compounds can be installed by folding the seal into a banana shape if no assembly tools are available. Gradually push the zircon rod seal into the groove. Push the zircon rod seal with a finger or a suitable piece of rod until it snaps into the groove. It will return to its original shape and be firmly seated. Applicable for zircon rod seals between 35 and 80 millimeters in diameter, the M22 assembly tool can also be used for installation. If the seal needs a pre-tensioning element, install the element into the groove. Avoid twisting the O-ring. Carefully form the zircon rod seal into a kidney shape using the M22 assembly tool. Insert the seal into the groove. It will return to its original shape and be firmly seated. Cover the tips or sharp edges of the screw threads to avoid damaging the seal during the mounting process. Single acting seals must be installed with the pressure side correctly orientated to the direction of pressure. The rod outer diameter must have a lead in chamfer of 15 to 20 degrees, which must be deburred and rounded. Trelleborg Seating Solutions, your partner for sealing technology. www.tss.trelleborg.com